We also have a sponsorship from Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach transforms your gaming world with a selection of cutting-edge technologies, creating a product that completes your high-definition gaming experience and puts you a step up on the standard headset competition. Check them out at www.turtlebeach.com. I've used their headsets before. They're pretty good. I can see people swarming all over the place. Looks like the game is running, which is a good sign. Hopefully we'll be able to get started soon. Kramer moving the chair into place. Another shout out to Tiny Build Games. Tiny Build Games is an indie developer morphed into an indie publisher. They partner up with indies across the world to help better their games as well as develop games themselves. Check them out at www.tinybuild.com and check out their game at Speedrunners. Available the AGDQ 2015 Humble Bundle. Once again, check out Speedrunners. Of course, this charity is for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The Prevent Cancer Foundation is a nonprofit organization that focuses on prevention and early detection of cancer via research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their staff has worked toward their goal in countries such as China, South, South Korea, Australia, Canada, England, and other countries spanning a total of six continents. PCF has invested over $138 million over the last 29 years and funded more than 480 grants and fellowships. We have a donation from the one Nintendo Freak. I never got around to donating earlier as I fell asleep, but here is the amount I promised way back in Mario Sunshine. That was $45, and shouts to Nintendo Freak for keeping his promise all the way through the night. Well, I got one more day left, so those nights of rest can finally come back as I am excited to sleep eight hours once again. Big shouts to Speedruns Live. Speedruns Live is the best site to race video games online against other players of all skill levels. They're also hosting a short series of racing starting on January 17th titled Get Yourself Speedrunning. You can go to their front page, speedrunslive.com, for more information and to watch a variety of speedrun streams. I've raced like 70 races of Give Up Robot on SRL. I liked each and every one of them.
Shout outs to EMBW who donated $25, their donation. Looking forward to the blindfolded all child dungeons run by Runner Guy. Also, bonus stream hype. Alright, this is 10 minutes long, and all my food's in there, so... Uh, Tess? <laughs> uh, Tess. <laughs> Kramer, show the hype to the world, show your excitement. Alright, let's go guys, there's my hype. I love you, Kramer. Hassan Chap. Yeah, we're ready when you are. Uh, you need to go to the... Yeah, yeah hold on. Oh yeah, can I get audio? Oh yeah, do you want me to? Oh wait, you need audio to play video games? I don't know about that, man. <laughs> Is this... Yeah. Oh yeah. I just noticed. <laughs> do you want me to play Eurobeat in the background as well? <laughs> to, help you pra to help you relax? Yeah. Ooh. That was easy. Yeah. I was kind of expecting that to take ages. Alright, you ready? All right, three, two, one, go. All right, so I'm designated talker. Yeah. Uh, Kramer's been drinking, so he's not allowed to talk. <laughs> but um, this is uh, simple. It's short and sweet. It's played on Avengers difficulty because anything else isn't really worth it. Uh, you don't get any upgrades or anything like that. Um, and basically, what you see is what you get for the first bit. There's a reset here to get extra items just for the marathon, which is a bit safer. Uh, so the main part of this run, the r way it works, the way you can do this quickly, is to is because of taunting in this game. Uh, you'll see taunting, uh, enemies will turn red and make a strange noise. Then they take more damage and do, do more damage. So basically everything in this run will kill Sam in one hit. And that's the main basis of how this, this run is even possible. So uh, this first boss here is... Basically the only real RNG part of the run, which is which attack it does. And that claw is one of the two attacks. And this strat here is very precise. If you mess this up, you've got to uppercut him into the air, taunt him while in the air, throw an RP grenade, and then slice him down. And then this is actually a quicker kill as well, where uh, he got lucky and the dog looked at him and he could kill it instantly instead of having to execute it. So that saved about a second. But that's actually really fast. I wish I had a W split. But... Yeah, that was like a perfect fight. Yeah. So a lot of these strats uh, that are being used here uh, were found by either Mike Cobb or Beatrix. This one here is an example of the stealth detection in this game. It's not very good. So uh, it's either General Beatrix or Mike Cobb found these strats or Kramer. Uh, Mike Cobb originally made a, a segmented run of this game, on, put it on YouTube not long of this DLC after it came out. And then Kramer and Beatrix adjusted it. For example, this strat here is Beatrix. Uh, this strat here is... You, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the next strat coming up is also Kramer, and my sole contribution to the game is that you don't have to taunt to do it. So the, the next strat will be Beatrix too. So for, basically, to put it simply, a lot of different people have uh, worked on this, but mainly it's Beatrix, Kramer, and Mike Cobb who are the ones who rooted this game. This strat, for example, was found by Beatrix not long ago. And he's using a slightly safer version of it because he picked up a second rocket. Oh, this guy's still alive. That's not good. Right. These take forever to kill. So uh, one of the other things with taunt mode is that you can't parry uh, enemies. You take chip damage if you do. And uh, just an example here, without taunt, this enemy would take a significantly longer to kill. Uh, the problem with this enemy is that you can't actually uh, tell when it's taunted or not, because it has a red mode that's exactly the same as the taunt red mode. So you're just sort of not actually sure if it's taunted or not. And 
Yeah, I don't even know if you actually can taunt them when they're enraged like that. You might not be able to because they tend to take forever to die. Mm -hmm. So uh, the next up is Ray. This is a pretty straightforward strategy, but if this goes well, this will be a, a one combo kill. So we can just watch. Like so, dead ray. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. So that's basically perfect ray fight. You can't really get it any better than that without using kooky, weird double rocket strategies yeah. that Beatrix fond of, but no one else wants to do. Um, so it's it's really simple what you see there. Basically, if you're too far away um, at the beginning of the fight, the taunt will whiff and it won't do anything. If you're too close, it will use a headbutt and kill you. So. There's a, a lot of hidden precision in this game that you're probably not really noticing because it's being done right. For example, in the, the fights with the raptors on the lift, where the rocket launcher didn't kill both of them, it's just an example of what happens when spacing goes wrong. More great stealth detection here. <laughs> uh, Alright. You're everything they said you were, Sam. Yes. And how? You mean. You. I'm. Well, let's. Does that say memes? Huh? Did it say memes at the bottom there? Maybe. Uh, I think it did. Is this now a meme run? <laughs> yeah, this fight coming up here is really tough. Yeah. So this is uh, this is uh, in the Japanese garden. There, you just get the three items you need: pick up, a homing launcher, an EM grenade, and a regular grenade. And uh, this strategy is a real, you just got to believe in it. Because you have about half a second between the last attack of this hitting and the stunning the enemies, and they're all dead now, so that worked perfectly. Nice. Uh, that's about using the taunt and uh, precise damage and skills to hit all three of those enemies and knock them back. This guy goes for a ride, because otherwise he joins this fight. This place is huge. You can see him in the top right, just despawn there. This is the Kramer's way of doing this. And he's going to use a double grenade there. Um, you can see more examples of how the taunt just allows you to kill things instantly. Like so. And now he's going to kill the last guy here. Okay, so that was a perfect lift fight as well. That is not easy to do. Takes a lot of uh, a lot of resetting normally to get that right. Yeah. Right, coming up next is a very interesting strategy that can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. So hopefully these geckos are going to cooperate. I think they are. I think he's got that. Yeah. Okay. So please clap for that one because that's ridiculous. Yeah. What happens with that strategy there, there are two geckos. One of them will let you parry it, the other one will not let you parry it, no matter how hard you try. Um, there's a video of nine parries in a row on the second gecko not landing, because the gecko just dodges them. But uh, what you have to do there is execute with the kick like you saw, and you have to do it while the second gecko is kicking as well, so you catch both of them in the single attack. Uh, it's not easy, and if you miss it, it misses a lot of time. So here we're going to see something a bit strange. With If you look at the top right of the screen, I think you might have done it. But if you see look at the top right of the screen, it's going to... Oh, it didn't. Uh, didn't get it. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it only saves like a couple seconds anyway. Yeah, it's a, it's a second, so that's fine. So don't worry about it. All right, now coming up to the last two fights with the Choppers and Armstrong. These Choppers have been being a massive pain recently. Yeah. So uh, we're going to hopefully they'll well behaved here. You're going to try and use one chopper to kill the other chopper, and there you go. <laughs> the rocket explodes. There you go. Oh, well. That'll do. <laughs> so, yeah, you use one chopper to kill the other chopper, and yes, you can taunt helicopters for some reason. Right, now this is uh, really precise, this whole section here. No matter what Beatrix and Kramer say, it's really precise. 
you want to do these two rolls, and either of his first two attacks can result in him doing this combo of moves. That you can counter exactly as shown here. So it's going to be a stagger, and then first phase is over. Now, uh, Armstrong's going to throw some helicopters. Uh, if anyone could let us know how he does this. <laughs> I don't know how he manages that, but he does, I guess. Then a quick dodge of those, and now reset to get the perfect start of the next fight. Um, and when you're going to see a really strange clash. You're going to see Sam do a, an odd backflip, which doesn't really occur anywhere else in the game. Oh, and I rest it No eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's what happens when one of Armstrong's attacks clashes with one of Sam's attacks and they both hit each other. Sam sort of ricochets backwards, it's really strange. Like that. Um, not really sure what happens there, but that's a, a good setup that's very consistent. And then Armstrong takes that, and we just got to do the QTE. Uh, fun random fact while this QTE is going on, uh, General Beatrix is doing a run of this game that would have been world record, but his keyboard became the prompt for this next QTE section and he died because he pressed a button on his pad instead of Z or something. Oh yeah, and this is time oh, coming yeah. up here. And time. Nice. Nice. Good job. Sub 10. <laughs> He's very pleased with that. Yeah. Basically, what he wanted, or we all wanted, was sub 10. Mm -hmm. That beats my PB, which is why we're not racing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, we don't have long, so we got a, a oh, list yeah. of trainers' duties to do, which was written down on a notepad for him. Uh, we got our Platinum Clovers speedrun leaderboards right. on speedrun.com slash platinum clovers. With an underscore. Yeah, that's with an underscore yeah, in there. Yeah, that's all the Platinum games and all the Clover Studio games mm -hmm. together. So if you like any of those, which you really should, that's what that is. And then we got our Twitch team, twitch.tv slash team slash PC lovers. Go ahead and <laughs> go there and follow all of us. And uh, I'd like to give a special shout out to Beatrix and Mike Cobb. They really helped uh, push this run to where it is today. And uh, another special shout out to Dark Devastation, who used to be a Metal Gear Rising runner, yeah. but he was claimed by the Halo Halo, community. he's now being super famous in Halo Land. And then shout out to half-coordinated Maelstrom and Laz, who are in our Platinum Skype group. Yeah, our super exclusive Cool People Club. Yeah. There you go, <laughs> he didn't forget about you. All right, so then, yeah, we hope you enjoyed this mini platinum block. Yep. Vanquish and Rising. Um, if you want to know any more about running these sorts of games, just uh, head to the leaderboards and message one of us there or find us on IRC. We're uh, happy to help you see the light of Platinum yep. Studios. And we'll tell you the good categories to yes. run. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask about Bayonet and New Game Plus. <laughs> or Blade Wolf Revengeance difficulty. Yeah. And uh, great, that's all from us. Yep, that's pretty much it. Thanks, Thanks. for watching, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Haven't watched this cutscene in a while. Like Monsoon said. Losing a limb or two. Won't stop us. The hell? The job's yours. Welcome aboard.
Take a quick break to lead into a Twitch commercial as we resolve some stuff right here. So we'll be right back at Awesome Games and Quick 2015.